Let's try the most expensive mango in the world versus a Pakistani mango. So this is the Japanese Miyazaki mango. This costed me, well, it came in a packet of two and even just unboxing this thing almost felt like an iPhone unboxing video. It just felt so supreme and elegant. And the Japanese one even comes with a certificate. So that seems pretty legit. And this costed me $125. This is the Pakistani Chonsa mango. These came in a case of six and it was around 35 bucks quick maths on that what's the math on that so each mango is about five dollars and thirty cents and the unboxing wasn't as supreme but oh it does come with some confetti and let's start off with the Japanese Miyazaki mango Ooh. okay the color on this is perfectly golden it's already dripping it just smells like oh, the perfect mango okay that really melts in your mouth you don't have to chew it if you didn't have any teeth all you have to do is squish your gums together and you're fine and I don't know if that's a good thing that this tastes like an artificial jelly cup or maybe those artificial jelly cups taste like a mango. That's the way we should be thinking. So this is the Pakistani Chonsa mango. Okay, this one's a lot lighter in color. Ooh, this one's also juicy. Hmm. Okay, it is a different mango taste. It's not like a jelly cup. This just tastes like a natural juicy mango. It's also quite soft. You can actually eat this another way. Just wanna cut this part off a bit. And then you want to squeeze this up and make an incision right where that stem was. And now you can just squeeze and suck out all the juice. This is like mango juice in a juice box. That's what it is. I like how this gives you a lot of mango, but the price is just out of whack. And the Chonsa mango, it is smaller, but it is a lot cheaper. I would give the Japanese Miyazaki mango a 9.7 out of 10. And the Pakistani Chonsa mango a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's really close.